Oh, hi guys. How are you doing? So, firstly, I want to apologise for the lack of videos recently. My computer graphics card blew up, so I've actually ordered a new one. It's coming from America, so it's taking a bit of time. And I never have any money anyway, so, you know, this is quite a big investment for me. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Uh, new phases dropped, and there's some really cool items in the game. There's a few new stats, such as armor penetration. You can now get a lot of armor penetration, so we're going to look at how much armor penetration you actually need. We're also going to look at a few really cool items, which you should probably focus on getting. So, again, if you are a melee or you're just interested, definitely stick around to the end of the video, because you're going to learn lots of cool stuff. Awesome! <laughs> Let's jump right in. So, do you guys remember those things called uh, Badge of Justice? Badge of Justice used to accumulate when you did heroic runs, and a lot of people saved up quite a few of them. Which is cool, because um, Grias now has a bunch of new items which you can buy from him. He's obviously in the middle of Shatterath. And some of these items, especially for Fury Warriors, are really cool. So, for example, I've got the Chains of Unleashed Rage, which is nice. I've got these braces too. Uh, all of these have um, armor penetration stuff on them. And there's a few cool items here. Now, I'm really tempted to get this item, even though I probably shouldn't. But the Brooch of Deftness has 22 hit and 21 expertise. I currently think my neck, which I have now, has 175 armor penetration is actually better for me, but I'm kind of tempted to get this, <laughs> even if I just use it for tanking. Uh, I'm just saying it's got expertise, and expertise are kind of cool. If you're wondering, expertise are worth roughly twice as much as hit, so just look at the number here, 21, you can just double it, and, you know, count that as hit, if you want to. This is because expertise have parry and uh, dodge chance reduction, so yeah, really cool. I don't have really have any expertise, so I'm tempted to get this. Huh. So, the new raid is Zulaman. In the coming days, I'm probably going to upload a video about that. It's a really cool run, and if you kill every boss the first time, and you know where you're going, you can do it very, very quickly. Probably do it in about an hour, really. Um, so, the final boss, Zul Jin, drops some very nice items. For example, there's this uh, damage trinket with uh, 90 attack power, 360 attack power every two minutes. So that's better than the um, brooch that we had before, if you still use that. There's also the ancient Armani Longbow, and again, if you're going for penetration, this is a really, really cool weapon. Mostly because there's not that many weapons in the game with armor penetration, so this is a cool one that you can get as a Fury Warrior. Oh yes, this quest item also gives you 10 badges, so if you can get that, that's really cool. So Black Temple obviously has a lot of really cool items. But, again, if you're going for armor penetration, the Leggings of Divine Retribution have 350. So, I really, really, really want these. Because they're awesome. <laughs> they actually fall off uh, Gartok Blood Boil. By the way, this add-on is called Atlas Loot. Highly recommend you get it, because you can look at what every boss drops. Also, the Illidari have some cool stuff. Madness of a Betrayer is a very, very cool trinket. 20 hit, which again would make me very, very happy, and there's the chance of getting 300 armor penetration, so that's cool. Illidan obviously has the um, glaives and some other really cool bits and bobs as well, so yeah, doing Black Temple is really fun actually. A quick reminder that you basically, as a Fury Warrior, want two slow weapons, but there is the exception, if you get both Warglaives, then obviously one of them is slower, but that doesn't matter because Warglaives are freaking awesome. <laughs> so now let's jump on to some more stats and things. 
everyone knows we need 9% hit to avoid all the hit misses with yellow damage. But more recently, I've actually found that a really good number to have is around about 18% hit. Now, the big advantage of having about 18% hit is you get much smoother rage generation. Which is very, very nice. It kind of means you can always use your abilities on cooldown. And the other cool thing is, obviously, if you're hitting the enemy more, then you've got more chance of critting. So hit actually affects crit as well. So with all this armor penetration stuff, I'm up to about 900 armor penetration at the moment. Remember to get some hits where possible. If I look at uh, some of my items, for example, I'm actually still using Romulo's Poison Vial. Now, I will re play, replace this with the Black Temple item if it drops. And I do actually have a nice ring, but I decided to use my Violet Signet of the Master Assassin from Karazhan because it's got 25 hit on it. And like I say, this is the Pawn, P-A-W-N add-on. And it kind of tells you how much hit and everything else that you have. So that's really, really cool. So another massive change in the game is you can now swap your um, items over. A lot of items, for example, the Dragon Strike, can be used as offhand items if you want to. So this opens up a lot of possibilities. Items that were just offhand before can obviously be used as main hand. It hasn't affected everything, but I think this is a really cool little change. It also means that if you wanted to, you can dual wield Dragon Strike, but personally, I'm not going to bother with that because I kind of ran a few Sims and stuff, and it didn't really seem to improve my damage at all. So I'm sticking with Rising Tide at the moment. So you guys might be wondering, how much armor penetration do you actually need? Well, that's not really a simple question to answer, but let's, well, there are some bosses in the game with 6,200 armor, and there's other bosses with 7,700 armor, so let's assume around about 4,000 armor can be destroyed or taken off by the raid group. Well. For the boss with 6,200 armor, that leaves 1,715 armor, which you could get up to. And that's kind of the number that I'd like to get to, 1,715. If you're going to go and try to kill a boss with more armor, for example, then you can get up to 3,215. Now, I suppose... Hypothetically, if you really wanted to, you could look up how much armor the boss has and then you could adjust accordingly. But to be honest, I'm sure 1,715 armor penetration is absolutely plenty. Another thing I should probably say is there are certain trinkets um, which can help with armor penetration. I still have the Badge of the Swarm Guard, which is a level 60 item from Anchor Up. So, in the previous version of World of Warcraft. Now, this every three minutes gives you 1,200 armor penetration after a few hits. So, this is kind of quite useful for trash mobs and stuff if you want to get a whole bunch more armor penetration. So,. That's something to consider if you've got one of these lying around. Never, ever, ever get rid of it. <laughs> Another thing I did recently was got rid of hamstring from my rotation entirely. Took it off my taskbar. <clears throat> it can be good in certain PvP situations, but you shouldn't be using this in PvE because it's not great. Arms Warriors can kind of use it if you want to basically proc another attack and proc some other stuff but if you are fury i definitely avoid this since i started avoiding hamstring i've been doing more damage so would recommend that another change is previously i was using rampage which is bottom of the fury tree 
Now one of the advantages of using Rampage is you can put a few points in Precision, which increases your hit rating. <laughs> you guys know I love a bit of hit. But <clears throat> I've actually switched over to Death Wish. Now Death Wish gives you a 20% damage increase, so if you've got higher end gear, Death Wish absolutely is far more powerful than Rampage. Also, to be honest, Rampage is kind of a pain to keep up, and it means that you get one less attack, for example, one less um, Whirlwind or one less Bloodthirst. So, yeah, goodbye Rampage. You were kind of good. I would still say if you are a warrior just starting out, Rampage is probably better, because the damage increase is not bad, actually, but um, yeah. High-end Fury Warriors, no. Last thing I wanted to say is there are a lot more items in the game with expertise rating, but unfortunately a lot of them have um, defense rating as well. Like I say, the Brooch of Deftness gives you 22 hit and 21 expertise, so that's quite good. You can buy that from the vendor with badges of justice. <coughs> Other than that, uh, I don't think there's much else. I really hope you guys are being well. Um, leave a comment and let me know how you guys are doing. And hopefully I'll get my old computer back up and I can make some other really cool videos. But uh, I'll speak to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.